Here is a multiple choice question on the graph of polynomial functions. Question number one. Which of the following statements is not true for the polynomial of degree 10? A. It will have maximum 10 x-intercepts. B. It will have minimum one turning point. C. It will have four x-intercepts and D is it will have four turning points. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my solution. So to solve this, let us assume that the leading coefficient is negative. Let's, let's say leading coefficient, let's say a of n, is less than zero. That means it is negative. Okay, so based on this, I will actually show all types of possibilities. There are four different cases. So let's try to take them one by one. First one, it will have maximum 10 x intercepts. Well, that's correct. If the, the degree is 10, leading coefficient is negative, means the right side is down, right? So maximum could be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, kind of like this. Do you understand? So the number of x-intercepts could be all linear and that will result into the first case. So that is true. It will have minimum one turning point. Since the graph of the function has to go, both will be facing the same sides. We are taking leading coefficient negative. So maybe from this to kind of like this, one turning point. Do you see that? So in this case, we are assuming this to be x to the power of 10 with a negative leading coefficient. So that gives you the situation where there's minimum one turning point. Next, we have a case that it can have four x intercepts. Well, that's easy to sketch four x intercepts. So, so we could have something like this, one, two, three. So, so we have one, two, three, and this one is the fourth one, right? Four x intercepts. So it could be like this. You can see that the graph goes from quadrant two to quadrant four. The only thing to worry about is the degree. So we can say this is linear. So degree is one, for example. Here also it is one. Now, but these two combinations could give us 10. For example, this could be of order 4, and that could be of order 4 also, right? So 4 and 4, 8, 9 and 1, 10. So you could have something like this. Okay, so that gives you 4 x-intercepts. Now, the last part is that it can have 4 turning points. Now, let's look into this part. 4 turning points means... We have to start from here, right, and end there. So let's talk about turning points. If I turn once, I have to turn, I go this side, that's fine. But if I turn the second time, I'm actually going to quadrant one, but I have to come to quadrant four. So I have to turn again, right? Now, that means one, two, three. It cannot have two turns. One, two, three. And if I turn once again, this is my fourth turn, right? One, second turn, third turn, and fourth turn. But if I turn, I'm landing up in quadrant one, but I have to land up in quadrant four. So that means I have to again turn, right? So I cannot have four turns, I'll have five turns. So the last statement here is incorrect. It can have four turns, no. It can only have odd number of turns, right? So the net shell is that it can have either one turn, three turn, five, seven, or nine turns, turning points. So only odd turning points. It cannot have even number of turning points, and therefore option D is the right option. So I hope the concept is clear, right? So we'll take up similar questions relating to the graph of polynomials 
and I hope that will give you a good concept about the topic. Thank you.